my daytime uh, little multi-species venture down in Boca Raton. I didn't really say this in the in the first video, but I didn't really study any of the species I was expecting to catch down there. So when I started landing some juvenile grunts, I wasn't 100% on what they were. I was just like, oh, this is a grunt. Um, I'll let you guys see them, and I'll kind of go through the species towards the end. Um, and even in the video, it's kind of hard to see, just because I handle them so quick, which, which is my fault. But I, you know, at this point, this was right when I first started making videos and recording what I was doing, so I still wasn't quite adjusted to it. Like my my newer stuff, uh, for instance, one of the creek videos I put out. Um, I was definitely more experienced. You could see it the way I showed the show the fish to the to the camera and everything. But I don't know, I'll let you guys uh, kind of enjoy this video as much as you can. Cool species in here, and um, yeah, I think that's it. So here we go. There we go. First species. Kroger, or not Kroger, run. There he is. Yeah. There he goes. Can't get past these grunts and sergeant majors. Jeez. Just. Yeah! Slippery dick. Hey, I got a slippery dick. It's the name of the fish. I just think it's hilarious. Slippery dick. Oh. My first slippery dick. There we go. New species for today. I believe this is a blue striped. No, it's not a blue striped. No. But it's a new species for today. I still haven't remem memorized my uh grunt abcs but there he is how many grunts can we Yeah. Slippery dicks. Starter Major, I'm assuming, so they look exactly the same as Starter Major's. Just blue. And he's trying to hide under my, my butt. Like species 
he's number six for today. There he goes. Just giving up on him. There he is. My first parrot fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, it was, I mean, pretty good day. Uh, I didn't finish off with that parrot fish. I got him kind of probably two hours from when I caught it a day. But it was definitely really cool to catch that fish. Um, at that point, I'd pretty much given up on pursuing him. Uh, just because I was sick of trying to punch through the sergeant majors and get past the grunts. and just a bunch of species that were being a nuisance to me and um, I was taking my bait and stuff like that so it, it, was, it was really about kind of when I was wrapping things up and I was getting aggravated so so about the the grunt species in this video I caught most of them in the keys um, your Tom Tate's French grunts, blue striped, common. Um, I don't think I got a Caesar. One of these juveniles looks like a Caesar, and I just I can't find a good um, still frame of the fish to really identify it. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I saw other fish species. I couldn't get them to bite though. Just um, something rather large actually was trolling around down there. And I, I, I couldn't quite figure out what it was. It was the same thing. I'm pretty sure it was the same species of fish that I saw during the night fishing that was just kind of hanging out underneath a dock, but this time he's kind of roaming back and forth along the shelf that I was fishing on. I wish I could have produced something a little bit more quality. Um, the wind wasn't helping me. Lack of sleep wasn't helping me. And uh, just kind of inexperience with with recording these videos, it definitely wasn't helping me either because my my display to the camera is not nearly as long as it should be, and I need to kind of gain better control over the fish because nine times out of ten, when I'm like, "Hey, look at this fish," I'm holding it like that, where it's at an angle, and the fish will flop out of my hands. I need to kind of get a good grip on them next time. I thank you guys for watching and stay.